Welcome to Tweety's Take. While we're waiting for the results from the Maricopa County audit to come out, I wanted to address something that I saw in regards to mandates. Biden is considering vaccine mandates for interstate travel. And this is concerning to a lot of people who want to have the freedom within their own country to move between states. I know my wife and I have family in different states and we love to go travel to see them. Obviously, the U.S. is full of people in these types of situations. Now, I'm not going to talk against the vaccine. I think you should talk with your doctor to figure out if it's something you should get or not. But as for this mandate, mandate that we might see for interstate travel in the future, that is something to be very concerned about. Imagine that you're high risk or you're someone who is not able to take the vaccine because your doctor has told you not to, and now you're forced to stay within the same state. You can't even visit family because you don't want to go against the doctor's orders. What do you do then? These type of mandates do not have the interests of the people in mind. Give people the freedom to choose if they want to travel or not. But now that we see these various variants that are coming out that the U.S. is making a hoopla about. I've actually talked with a lot of people who agree with the interstate mandates. They don't think beyond the headlines. They say, well, we have driver's license, so it's not really like papers, please. And this is just a way to stop the spread. They're not thinking about freedom. They're not thinking about the constitution. Their sole concern is about fear of the virus. And they're using that to lead us down a scary tyrannical path and saying, I don't see an issue with this. Now, another thing that's crazy to me, but it makes sense with what the Democrats are pushing for. We have an open border right now with hundreds of thousands of people coming in unlawfully into the states, but yet they're going to ban interstate travel to anyone who has not received the vaccine. This is hypocrisy at its finest. It shows you what they truly care about. Anyway, I wanted to address this situation because it is something that we're going to see talked about in the near future. These are things that they're pushing. These are things we should be aware of. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any story or anything else that you want me to address, please let me know as well. Remember to like the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Yabashia.